Hello everybody! Welcome to this tutorial where we're going to be looking at the Tableau Server REST API and how it can help us create groups for a Tableau server or a Tableau online site. And then we're going to do a couple of fun things. So the game plan is um, we're going to add a user to the group that we create and then we're going to uh, query the users that exist inside that group and that's just to verify that we've actually been successful in adding the user to the group. Then we're going to remove the user from the group and then finally remove the group from the site. And the reason we're going to do all of these different steps is that these are all uh, useful tools to have in your toolbox and other than just creating groups and removing groups, there are those uh, various other things that you can do with your groups and with your users uh, that belong to those groups that are really good to know how to do and that are documented in the Tableau Server REST API. So let's take a quick look at the REST API endpoints that we'll be using here. So for creating a group, we'll be using this create group endpoint. For adding users to the group, we'll be using the add user to group endpoint. And then in order to find out how many users or who belongs to the group, um, you could always use the get users in group endpoint. And then finally, to wrap things up, we'll be removing our user from the group and then deleting the group from the site. So that's quite a few endpoints, but it's all going to happen uh, relatively uh, quickly. It's not that uh, difficult since we'll be using the Tableau API lib library, which um, has kind of already tapped into this REST API reference for us and made a bunch of this functionality available to us with uh, a couple strokes of the keyboard. So really quickly I do want to point out that for each of those endpoints if you want to know the ins and outs of how this works you could just click on any of these links and it's going to tell you more than you'd probably ever want to know about what all's in there. This is really useful to, uh, to take a look at especially because the REST API reference does change over time so there are different versions of this uh, and you know what's in here now might not be the same as what was in here a year ago so this is good to take a look at every once in a while so you know what's possible. For example, if you're creating groups that synchronize with Active Directory, then your workflow is going to look differently than if you're using um, a local authentication. So diving into the code, I'm going to go ahead and import Tableau Server Connection from the Tableau API Lib Library. And if any of this does not look familiar to you, there is a getting started tutorial video that's linked in the description of this one. So I recommend you check that out. And once I've defined my connection, I'm just going to establish that connection in these couple of cell blocks. And now I'm signed in and I can start sending requests to my Tableau on online site through the uh, Tableau API lib library. So the very first thing I'm going to do here is I want to just show uh, how many groups there are on my site, or I guess more correctly to say that I just want to pull all the information about my groups so we can see which ones exist on the site. And I can see that there are no users inside of these two, just kind of sample groups that I created. And we're going to want to create an additional group here, just like we have individual contributors for marketing and individual contributors for development. I want to create a new group that I'm going to call individual contributors uh, for analysts. So we have that down here. So creating that group is really just as simple as uh, calling on this method, which uh, if we recall in the Tableau Server REST API reference, that endpoint was called create group. And so this library just implements the create underscore group method, which accepts a new group name. And what this is going to do for us now is we will see that that group is created. So this response uh, .json is just showing us the JSON body of the response that we received from the server when we were creating that group. And we can see that that group has an ID and it has a name. Now in order to use the ID for future reference uh, for doing things like adding a user to the group or removing the group from the site, I'm just going to store that ID value that we see here into this variable called new group ID. So that does the that takes care of the first step. 
So now we can go ahead and uh, get the ID of a user that we want to add to this group. Maybe first let's just hop out here and verify that that group does exist. So if I refresh my group list, we can see that indeed uh, individual contributors analysts does exist now. It has no users inside of it. So let's populate this with a user. And I'm going to just query a list of all the users that exist on my site. I only have two of them. So uh, let's grab one of these. And I'm going to take the ID value, which I already uh, did down here. And I just use this ID value in this variable called user ID to add. So let's define that. And I'm going to, when adding a user to the group, call on this add user to group method that belongs in the library. Again, named uh, to its name here mirrors the name that we would see on the Tableau Server REST API. And so this requires us to pass in a group ID and then a user ID. So the group ID here is the ID of the group that we're adding a user to. And the user ID is the ID of the user that we'd like to add. And if I run this code, we're going to see a, another JSON response from the server. And this is telling us that this user having this ID was added to that group. And the site role that this user has is explore can publish. All right, that's great. But let's go ahead and verify out here, if I refresh my groups information, that I do have that group still. And over here, under the user count, we can see there is one user in that group. Now we could also verify this using the library. And what that would look like is perhaps using this, uh, the get group users data frame. So this, um, this is built on top of that REST API endpoint, which is getting users that belong to a group. And what this, uh, this querying section of the Tableau API lib library, which we imported up here at the top, what this is going to do is it's going to provide a lot of uh, kind of useful function functionality to us in the form of returning data to us as a pandas data frame. So if we run this get group users data frame, function on our Tableau server connection or our Tableau online connection with the group ID that we want to get users for, then we're going to get this output data frame that just describes all of the users belonging to that group. So now that we've verified there are users belonging to that group now, or at least one user, let's go ahead and remove the user from the group and once again, remove user from group is just mirroring the Tableau Server REST API endpoint, uh, which is designed to allow you to remove a user from a group. And all we need to do is pass uh, all the information we need to pass to this method. Just like when you were adding a user to the group, we pass the same information here when we remove a user from the group, and that is the group ID and the user ID. So when I do this, uh, there is no JSON body response, but if you get a 204 response code, status code, then that means it was successful. And you can verify all that information through the Tableau Server REST API reference. But just to show you um, that we have removed a user from the group, I refresh my group's information, and this number over here that was 1, showing that we had one user belong to the group, is now 0. So that's working as intended. And finally, if we take a look at uh, wiping this group completely from the site, all we need to do is call on the delete group endpoint. And if I want to be a broken record here, I can just point out one final time that this method right here is mirroring the name we see on the Tableau Server REST API reference. So it's called delete group out there in the reference, and we call it delete group inside the Tableau API lib library. And all we need to do is pass a group ID, and this is going to remove that group from the server. Once again, uh, typically when you delete things uh, from the server, you don't get a JSON body response because there's no new information to provide to you. Like when you create a group, you're going to get an ID. Uh, and so you need a, a response from the server saying, okay, we created that group for you. Here's the ID. Here's the group's name. But when we're deleting it, there's no new information to provide back to us. So we just get the status code with no JSON body. And if we want to verify that what we uh, wanted to have happen did in fact happen, we could go out to the site, 
refresh our group list and we can see that group no longer exists. Alright, so to close it out I'm just going to sign out which ends the session for uh, this Tableau server connection object that we created at the beginning and that's a wrap. So thank you for tuning into this tutorial. We're going to be doing many more on various use cases of the Tableau server REST API and how the Tableau API lib library can help bring those bring the functionality that the REST API makes available to you, uh, how you, how you can bring that functionality to life uh, with a little bit of ease. So stay tuned for future videos, and thanks for tuning into this one.